Transformation of sine function. Question 2. Graph f of x equals to sine x minus 2 in the domain x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equals to 360 degrees. How is the graph of f of x related to the graph of y equals to sine x? So let's try to make a graph here. So while I'm doing a rough sketch, I'd like you to do a proper graph of this, okay? Now here is my rough sketch for y equals to sine x. So y equals to sine x will be kind of like this, right? Now here, this is 360 degrees for me. So let me just draw some guidelines here. That will help me to draw the transform function sine x minus 2. Right. Now, what do we notice here is, well, this is 1 for me. This is minus 1. So that will be minus 2. And then we have minus 3 like this, right? Now, the function sine x minus 2 really means that we have shifted this wave 2 units down. That means this point will come from here to this place, right? This point will be here. So let me first draw this axis of symmetry, right? these are the points on axis of symmetry. Now, the maximum will go two units down, so from one it will go to minus one. The minimum from minus one will go to minus three. So that is our sine wave, right? So we have a wave here. Well, it's not a very nice graph, but anyway. So that's kind of sine wave function, right? Let me override. Okay, so we have a sine wave, which is sine x minus 2. Now, how are these graphs related? So, what we can do is, let's say for sine x, the coordinate points are x and y. Then in case of sine x minus 2, these coordinates point will get transformed. The x remains same. Do you see the x points remain same but the y points changes. So y becomes y minus 2. So that is a major change in this transformation, correct? Now that affects so many things. For example, maximum now becomes minus 1 rather than plus 1. Minimum is minus 3 instead of minus 1, right? But the time at which maximum x value at which we have maximum minimum, it remains same. So x values remain same, right? So, well, this is the graph. So, here we have x and here is y. And this function is sine x for us. And this is f of x, which is sine x minus 2. Now, how are these functions related? So, we can say, well, the function f of x is translated two units down and that is how they are related right now once this translation happens then you see x values remain same for each and every coordinate on the curve but the y value changes from y to y minus 2 right so major changes which we see here is range so range changes it becomes from minus 1 2 minus 3. In fact, I should write minus 3 to minus 1, that being a lower value, right? So range changes to minus, from minus 3 to minus 1. The time period remains same, right? And the x values for each and every point remain same. The maximum and minimum changes and thereby maximum changes in the range which is changes from minus 3 to minus 1. How about the y-intercept? So y-intercept is now 0, minus 2. Earlier it was at 0, 0. And how about the x-intercepts? So we don't have any x-intercepts, do you see? So we have no x-intercept. So these are the changes which we see when f of x is translated two units down. Thank you.